run it back what up youtube we back again with a drop fade tutorial we did this one recently it came out so good and he came back in for another cut so i thought we'd run it back one more time this is a drop skin fade don't forget that all right first things first you want to come out the hair pick out the hair and do all that stuff okay now i want to go ahead and bald out the bottom we got these trimmers we're going to use that to ball out the bottom you do know, see how i flipped it upside down you know what I'm saying? Or maybe that's right side up. I don't know. Whatever, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Anyway, so we got that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bald it. We're going to start. We're going to start right there at the point of the C cup. Basically, we're going to start like a couple fingers above the ear. And then we're going to drop it down. So once you reach the behind the ear, that's when you start to drop it down. You see that swoop? You start to drop it down. And it's going to go ahead and swoop all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that line is not too hard. You can see I'm scooping out when I bring that line up. Okay. Balled everything out on the bottom. Bring that thing all the way around. And then use an electric shaver to ball it out the bottom and make that thing nice and smooth.
we gonna call this the run it back fade because we running it back <laughs> uh y'all know the deal man we go ahead and take that clipper no guard halfway open and we gonna go up about a finger's width okay about a finger's width we're gonna make sure to follow that line make sure you follow that that angle of the line you know if it's gonna be a drop fade you gotta follow it going down and dropping like that okay because otherwise you're gonna end up making it too high and it's not gonna be a drop fade no more a drop fade is basically when the fade drops below the oscillable bone in the back of the head okay it's at least a mid fade on the sides even a high fade but then it drops below the oscillable bone in the back of the fade in the back of the head so make sure to follow that diagonal line and we on the highest guard we use in this is about a one and a half um or maybe a two i think it's one and a half and uh but we're, we're barely doing much with that towards the top mostly free handing it towards the top just to smooth it out um and yeah everything everything with the guards everything with the fade is all going to be going up about one finger's width and dropping back to the previous lever or guard we did before that using the corner to blend it all blend it all in so just like what you just saw here we had the clipper open cl clipper about halfway open went up about a finger's width then we closed it using the corner and then we go back to our trimmer to use the corner of that to blend into the skin okay and we basically do that going up with our guards half guard number one one and a half and then we're going to freehand towards the top and when you freehand it's always good to look at it from the side not like when i say look at it from the side like make sure you can see the angle of the clipper don't like look at it as if like when you're fading like this you're looking at it like straight on you want to look at it from the side so you can make sure to see that you're not taking off too much hair
Uh, I do apologize for the fading on this angle right here because you can't really see it all that well. Um, but I mean, you know, we did the exact same thing on the opposite side. Uh, but I just I thought this angle was actually good, but it's not because you're mostly just seeing my hand and not the actual clipper cutting the hair so or fading the hair. So I do apologize for that. But we basically did the same exact thing on the opposite side and we did the exact same thing on the back as well. But we just made sure to stay below that oscillable bone when fading.
a fade no matter if it's a drop fade high fade low fade mid fade does not matter a fade is a fade and it is always going to be the exact same thing consistent all the way around the head unless your client tells you otherwise that is exactly how it's supposed to be so whenever you do one thing on one side do the exact same thing exact same thing on the other side now I do always recommend to, especially new barbers, like try different techniques, see which one works for you, which one you think you feel more comfortable doing, and stuff like that. But don't do it on one side and then do it on the other. Different, do, do it on different clients, okay? So if you're gonna try um, a regular fading up on one client all the way around, do that all the way around consistent, see how it is, and then see how you feel. Then on your next client, or if you have to wait till this client to come back again, then next time do it again, but then try a different style, maybe fading down, maybe try um, uh, holding the clipper a certain way. There's all types of different techniques and ways to fade. And make sure you're just, you know, watching your favorite barbers, um, the people you work in the shops around you, people on Instagram, and other barbers on YouTube because there are some amazing barbers on YouTube and you should always be uh, checking out different people to see whose style you like the most who helps you out with the best information and who you can learn from the most After the fade is done, we just go ahead and smooth out the top. We're not really taking any length off. We're just smoothing out any little loose hairs that are sitting on top. And of course, a nice sharp lineup in the front. You want to try to stand in front of your client, comb everything down first before doing any cutting, and then start from the middle and work your way out.
Some people like to style before the lineup. Some people like to do it after. I'm someone who likes to do it after the lineup is in there. And then if there's any excess hair or anything extra I need to do after, then I can go ahead and just do those minor details. But otherwise, I like to go ahead and style the hair after um, the lineup is all in there. The, the, the whole hair gets done, you know. And uh, yeah, we did. We put a little holding foam on top just to make those curls nice and tight. Using the twist sponge, drying the hair, drying the foam out, and uh, yeah, style came out pretty nice at the end. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the complete fade right here. This is a drop skin fade. We did about a mid skin fade on the sides, and we dropped it in the back. Uh, we kept the bars on the side for the lineup. Nice clean lineup in the front, twist sponge on top, and consistency all the way around. Let me guys know if there's anything you think I should work on, or if you have any advice, or if you have any questions. I'm always here to listen to the people on YouTube and do the best I can. So, thank you guys for watching, and you have a great day.